So for today, we're going to be looking at Moth Keeper's Wraps. If you guys don't know, this is the new exotic for Season of the Witch for the Hunters. And I definitely love these exotics. Titans and Warlocks, don't worry. You guys will get your own exotics as well. And I actually mean it this time because last season, we actually didn't do it for the Warlocks or Titans. I will still be making those videos because unfortunately, my hard drive did die. So that's why I technically can't do them right now because I have to remake those videos. But don't worry, I will make those videos and... I will probably post them in the middle of the season, if not probably earlier. So I am I do apologize for that because I did quite get a, I did get a few people asking for those. So hunters, we're gonna be looking at Moth Keepers wraps. I actually love these exotics. Let's look at actually what it does first. So winged eclipse. Your grenade becomes a cage of loyal moths that release on impact and fly towards the nearest target or ally. If they reach a target, they detonate in a blinding explosion if they reach an ally the moths grant your ally a void over shield so this is really fun i have actually been using all of the exotics and i can tell you right now titans is my favorite exotic for this season and then hunters and then warlocks not saying the warlocks is bad it's just an interesting play style and i don't think a lot of people will go for that play style hunters i like i said it's super cool if you throw your grenade like when there's enemies and you're around most of the time it's gonna proc one enemy or one one bomb moth to kill someone and then one uh over shield for yourself or for your friend if you pop it when it's just you or a friend it's gonna just produce two over shield uh moths if you just pop one by yourself and there's no one around then you get two over shield ones which basically means you cap uh the shields which is really cool because i ended up doing that for a lot it's so unfortunate because i ended up using this in pvp specifically i was using it in momentum control and i held a b spot for longer than i should have because of this exotic because i was just able to get a little bit more health a little bit more health and since i had a hundred uh <clears throat> resilience most of the time people were shooting me once and then running away because they thought they were getting the kill but unfortunately they were not and that was so cool i if i can find some footage of it i'll hopefully put it up right now but again like i said my shadow play was just fucking up and was changing the resolutions way too fast it was really annoying but i really love this this exotic i think it it looks cool as well speaking of looks let's just look at what how it looks both keepers wraps i think it looks cool unfortunately it's your asymmetrical hunter look so which means you're not gonna have anything on the left side like actually nothing which is very unfortunate you guys will see when we look at the example set but overall i am like happy how it looks the right side definitely looks better than the right side as for the shaders yeah i'm not like i'm not really impressed the moth wings do not change colors so if you're interested in like oh how am i gonna it's gonna be cool if i can change them no you can't change the moth color or the moth wings they're all gonna be the same color granted i don't know if that's gonna bug me a lot but i mean it is what it is if i'm being honest i think it looks really cool with echoed anger i think echoed anger looks pretty cool with it but other than that the moths don't change color like nothing on the moths change color which is very unfortunate as for the example set i like what i did but to be fair it is the asymmetry is just rough for the shader we're going to be using Dream, dreaming spectrum just because uh the bone color i really wanted to emphasize that because the bone on the actual moth on the right side you, there, that's bone so i was like fuck it i want to lean into the bone for the helmet we're going to be using the new helmet for this season which is the veil tights helmet i think this helmet looks amazing for the chest piece, dark hollow chitin, boots, twisting echo strides, and then for the cloak, steeple chase cloak is what we're using. So this one is your typical hive look. <clears throat> my, again, like my only gripe about it is I do think it looks way too heavy on the right side. The left side should have had something or maybe the equivalent bone right there um, or something like I, my, my biggest gripe is just I, I and i apologize whoever designed this but it just kind of feels like you design the under armor and then you go to the other side and design something actually cool and then kind of get lazy and like oh no i don't want to do anything like that and then hide behind the artistry of like oh well i wanted it like that because of asymmetry again that's probably not what it is but it just feels like that and that's kind of, kind of what pisses me off about asymmetry is just it feels really lazy because you could have just added like some other bone texture to make it still asymmetrical but not make it look 
heavy on one side, which is this one is super heavy on one side. So like that's really my biggest like annoyance with this exotic is the fact that visually it just looks really heavy on the right side and i just think we could have had a little bit more bone over there or maybe some different moths in different areas yeah overall i think the asymmetry is just getting out of hand but let me know what you guys think i love this exotic it's like one of my favorite exotics right now i'm using it quite a bit but if i'm being honest the titans i think have the coolest exotic right now just because it's so much fun and it changes a lot of the play style that i have with solar so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe i will see you guys later